Thank you so much, everyone. Um, let's get into this right away, since Daniel's waiting with the hook to pull us off stage. So Boca is a fantastic library. It's based on uh, this idea that you can blur parts of an image to draw a reader's attention to the right things and make it more beautiful. Um, the TLDR for you guys is this. It's easy to use, beautiful, interactive. It's built for large and streaming data. It's really powerful because it helps us get all this great stuff out of Python into the browser where a lot of users are, and the docs are awesome, so check them out. Um, use cases, you can read the list. We all do lots of things. Boca can do it all. And here, a couple seconds in, is our first visualization. You're going to say, wait a minute, Chris. Uh, this is neither amazing nor interactive. What's going on? Um, <laughs> believe it or not, there is some interactivity here. You can actually kind of zoom in, and you can save it, and you can zoom with your mouse wheel and do all kinds of fun stuff. But maybe there's some more we can do. Let's check it out. Here's a graph with a little bit more integration to pandas. And you don't need to see my, de my desktop. We're with a one-liner adding kind of a range plot at the bottom that lets you scale over a huge range of values, yet zoom in and look at very specific parts of an image and even get some hover data where you get these little cute text boxes with insights. And so this is useful for digging into like what's going on in a big data set. Useful stuff and easy to do. Here's another way to highlight stuff. Sometimes we don't want a lot of text, but we want to say, hey, when did the last time this happened? And you can easily mouse over with a one-liner and get this kind of highlighting. There's a little code that's hidden here, but it's, it's basically this easy to kind of get this kind of stuff. And this is great for kind of just interactively getting in and seeing what's going on and what kind of intuitions do we draw. Now, there is a warning. There's some JavaScript coming. Just heads up, I've hidden it all, but the Bay Piggies folks saw all of it last week or two weeks ago. They all survived. I'm sure you'll be fine. Here is the interaction. So Boca hides a lot of JavaScript. It uses JavaScript for you in the browser. Here we have two graphs. We have one graph with all our mission-critical business information. We have another graph that supposedly is linked. We'll see if that works. And then a linked table. So what we can do here is we can take this little lasso and select kind of an arbitrary subset of data. Whoops, I don't know why I keep flipping out. And get some arbitrary subset, just the selected points over here. We can use these tools to kind of dig in and look at those things more closely. And then we can go and we can kind of save that thing off and say like, hey, this is very important. I got to get it to my boss right away to draw some conclusion. Let's go pop this in an email. Here's our critical finding. Right away, we got it. And if that's not all, we can look at the detailed data in this table. If we want to play with the actual stuff, we can save it off and get the actual text with the values and go pull it into something like pandas or whatever. And you know, it's very rare to kind of find ways to get things out of these visualization tools kind of in real time. Most of it is, is kind of interaction with a graph, which is cool and useful. All right, moving ahead, a couple of things we're going to look at. These, by the way, are the next couple of slides we're going to look at are both examples from the Boca maintainers. So kudos to that whole team for what they've put together. Why are we showing you these things? Here's one, which we'll see if it's running. Come on, snake eyes, and it probably just timed out because it's been sitting here running for a while. So we'll skip that one, and we'll look at the spectrogram <laughs> real time. Again, I shouldn't have left my laptop running here for like half an hour. Um, nice. All right. I did not test what I have to wait to give my talk. I did. Okay. Well, um, this is all on the repo, so I don't bore you. But what you're going to see here is kind of two things. One is essentially harmonic circles. You can see a visual view of four circles orbiting each other, and then how those sine waves stack into a non-sine wave graph, like a square wave, which is kind of neat. And then the second thing is a real-time spectrogram that would pick up kind of the microphone and play the uh, kind of... Uh, uh, histogram of the frequencies from my voice, which I'm sure you love hearing and all that kind of stuff. And it'll all be running when you run it on your browser and you don't have a timeout. Um, and that is the whole talk right there.